I've been blocked on other talk show hosts' Facebook pages because I've challenged them. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. There you go. That's right out of the Communist Manifesto. So you, you, you say you define conservative, conservatism as truth, the truth. You're a computer scientist, so you'll appreciate what I'm about to say to you. I have read Plato in mathematical, in mathematical formula. I did. did you ever hear that show when I studied philosophy 30 years ago? I had to convert the English language to mathematical formula long before computers were creating algorithms, and we had to convert the dialogues of uh, the ancient Greeks into mathematical formulae in order to see how perfect they were. You, you know where I'm coming from. The perfection of the language, the perfection of the thinking of the ancient Greeks was actually mathematically perfect? Yes. Okay. So, Todd, we're now living in an age which is so imperfect that I don't think we can apply a perfect formula to any political movement. No, you're correct. But the language doesn't change. So, you know, uh, just like Trump is going after Ted Cruz's birth uh, right to the presidency, He's absolutely correct. It, uh, Ted Cruz's mother had to renounce her citizenship to become a Canadian because they don't allow dual citizenship. He was born after she did this for act. But you can't explain this to anybody because they don't want to hear it. Even, even, even it, it took me uh, three weeks to convince my own dad. And finally, he... Well, that's an interesting question, and, and you're not allowed to even talk about the birth issue with Ted Cruz. And you're not allowed to talk about the fact that his wife works for Goldman Sachs. You're not allowed to talk about the bank loans from Goldman Sachs and Citibank because it doesn't fit the doxy of the Cruzites or the cruise bots. And the minute you don't fit the doxy, you are ejected as a someone who's blasphemous. They're very much like the Muslim fanatics who say there can be only one truth, and that truth is Allah. And if you don't believe in Allah... The way I see Allah, you are not a true Muslim. Off with your head. You're getting the same thing now from the low information voters on the right. Join the Savage Nation. Call now. 855-400-SAVAGE. 855-400-7282. Savage. Sousa, who wrote these great patriotic themes, was a an immigrant from Portugal. I don't know if you know that, by the way. Portuguese immigrant. There's no, neither here nor there. There's no hidden message. I may have said something to offend the cruise bots. They think it's a subtle attack on Cruz. I'm not saying it is. I happen to love Cuban music. What? I'm not a loyal enough American conservative because I like Cuban music. Now watch out where you're going with this. I'm, I'm challenging you. I've asked you to define what a conservative is because I've defined it in, I defined it in 1994 for myself and my audience and it took off. It's carried me for 21 years. I've had one bestseller after another. Borders, language, culture. I have a, I've had liberals come up to me over the years and say, you know, Michael, I'm a borders, language, culture Democrat. I've heard it, I've heard it said. What I'm trying to say to you is watch out with your hard definitions because your fanaticism will drive more people away than it will attract. So I can make this election easy for you. Which of the candidates will best help us defend ourselves from the Islamo-fascists who must be destroyed? Which candidate will best stop the flood of immigrants from pouring over the border and decimating our society? Which immigrant will best support the economy? You know, bring the debt down, cut spending in government. Which candidate will most likely make certain that English is the official language of the United States? Which candidate will most likely support the culture of America? And there's a defined culture of America. It's not as loose as you may think. So I'm asking you to help me with this because many of you, I'm going on many sites after that article came out on, in two places. You have all of the uh, true believers. If you have to have gone to college to understand what a true believer is, there was a book written about it. True believers are very dangerous, by the way. They're usually very narrow-minded. Michael Savage says Trump needed Palin like a hole in the head. Breitbart.com got it right because they quoted me. Then WND's brilliant writer Cheryl Trumley wrote, Savage said Palin endorsement undermining Trump from within. 
Sarah Palin's son was jailed on domestic violence charges and alleged drunken assault. That happened, I think, actually before the endorsement, the night before. But I'm sorry to say that today she's saying it's because of PTSD that he did it. And that's not my idea of a conservative reaction to your son being arrested for uh, charges like that. To say it's Obama's fault because he doesn't support the troops. That, that sounds like somebody making up an excuse to me, Robert, doesn't it? Isn't that, that's not a conservative value, what Sarah Palin just did. Didn't she just come out and say that it's because of Obama that her son has PTSD, and because he has PTSD, he uh, did these things? That's not a conservative thing to do. Well, let me tell you something. Your children do something. Don't blame uh, someone else for it. You know, and don't blame yourself for it either. Blame them. Blame them. Don't blame yourself for what your children do. That's all I can tell you. You don't own you don't own your children. Read Cahil Gibran on on love and on children. It's one of the most beautiful books ever written. I'm sorry to tell you he was uh, uh, a Muslim and gay and a heroin addict, but he wrote one of the most beautiful books in history. Oh yeah, you don't have to select from a certain library of approved books to learn anything. Why there's a list now, like the Communist Playbook. You can only read these books. Cahil Gibran. I read him in college. He was very popular in those days. He wrote a piece on children. He wrote a piece on family, a piece on love. It's some of the most touching writing I've ever read. I didn't know till years later he was, I think he was a Syrian or a Persian. Lebanon, so he's Lebanese, Muslim, and a heroin addict and gay. And a great writer, by the way. I'm not allowed to quote him or read him. Why? Was it written in some book somewhere what I could read? You want to live in that world that's so narrow? I don't. Now you understand why so many Americans, especially young ones, are leery of conservatives and the label conservative. And the minute you say, I'm a conservative, they run away from you because they're afraid you're trying to dictate to them what they should eat, what, sh you know, what they should see, who they should sleep with, what they should read. Liberals do that. Liberals tell them what to read, what to eat, what to do, this and that. Liberals are the most controlling freaks on the planet. But we haven't gotten that message across to the young yet that they're more controlled by liberals than they are by someone else. So I wouldn't define yourself as a conservative if you think you're that di if you're that didactic in your belief system. I don't think you're a conservative. You're something else. There's another word for it, and we'll have to let you figure out what it is. And what I'm proposing to you is that we're living in, a, in an emerging world. Now, you want to be a fanatic, and you want to say you know what a conservative is, and here are the principles, and they're written by this one, they're written by that one, and this is it, and either you follow this or you don't. You really? How many of the people who espouse that follow it 100% number one? They remind me of the preachers who get up there with a, a Bible. And tell you, oh, Jesus is going to punish you. And I tell you out there, many of you don't believe. But if you believe, God will come down in your teardrop and save you tonight. And the next day, they're seen with a boy in a car outside the church. How many times has that happened? Watch out for the fanatics on all sides of the aisle. So if I'm a man in, in this state, where does that, how do you define me? You're telling me I'm a comedian because I don't want to follow the, the didactic definition of what a conservative is? Doesn't make me a comedian. My beliefs are very strong, but they're very forgiving and they're very inclusive. Anyone can believe in borders, language, and culture, by the way. Anyone can support borders, language, and culture. They don't have to say, oh, therefore I am this or therefore I am that. Any American would support the borders. That's why I like Trump. He said he'll build a wall. He said he'll stop the flood of Muslims coming into America until we can figure out who's coming in. I like that. Borders, language, culture. Fits perfectly. WABC, Bob, go ahead. I've talked. You talk. Hi, Dr. Savage. Um... I totally agree with you that we're in an emerging market right now, and you cannot put labels on people. Uh, there is no true conservative, no true liberal, really. I mean, just look at um, even the views on China between Sanders and Trump. They're similar, well, maybe for different reasons, but they are similar in that they both uh, think China's killing us and uh, using us. So there, there is... Wait, wait, hold on. I want, I want to hear you on... Trump says we should have... A tariff on Chinese goods, which I wrote about two books ago, because I believe it strongly. Uh, conservatives would say that tariffs are terrible because that's not free market economics, and Ronald Reagan doesn't believe in that. Apparently, they put a stethoscope into his coffin and asked them well, about what? this day and age. 
So what does Sanders believe? We should have tariffs on Chinese goods or not? No, I think he believes, I, I think that he believes that we shouldn't be in China and shouldn't be doing production over there. That's what I'm saying. They both have similar views on China, maybe for different reasons, but they both don't like the Chinese. Well, Sanders is a lifetime communist, make no mistake about it. He is as different from Trump as you can possibly find. He is a lifetime communist. No matter what he says, he's a lifetime communist. He has been his whole life. So now he's modified his message into a progressive liberal socialism. It's the same thing. He is a communist. He's always talked about seizing industries, taxing individuals. He's talked about restricting freedom. The man is a lifetime maniac on the left. But, but that's not your point, Bob. What is your point? Exactly. That's not my point. Uh, I could never vote for Sanders. I never would. My point was that there are no labels on people that the views go across the aisles, whether it's liberal, conservative, whatever it is. Trump has liberal views on certain things and conservative views on other things. But that's why he's being attacked by the didactic who say he's not pure enough. The end of our two-party system because of that, because uh, you can't put a label on somebody as a liberal Democrat or as a... Tell me about the America of, t tell me about the America of today when you have liberals who are fiscal conservatives and you have... People who are transgendered sexually, who are uh, fiscal conservatives, how would you define them? Just that way. Uh, Just that way, that's right. That's right. You cannot put a label on someone that's that convenient anymore. You have a transgendered person who's very conservative in terms of uh, fiscal policy, in terms of national security. They love America. But just their sexual thing is their own business. So what, they're not conservative because they're transgendered? My, my question is this. You have so many radio and TV hosts out there who put a label on somebody, and if they don't follow it 100%, they're against that person. And I think that's the most ridiculous thing in the world, and it, and it hurts the whole thing. All right, so, Bob, when I, when I did the show yesterday that Trump needed Palin like a hole and had to set off a shockwave across the blogosphere, I am being attacked like I've never seen by these, I, I don't know, small people, small-minded people who think that they know what a conservative is, and I'm not a conservative because I said that. And I want to know, how did it strike you? Did you hear the show yesterday when I said that? I heard that part of the show, yeah. I didn't listen to the whole thing. But it's All right, hold on. When you first heard me say, when you first heard me say, uh, Sarah Palin endorses Donald Trump, I said, Trump needed Palin like a hole in the head. What was your immediate reaction? My immediate reaction was that, you know, Palin's, passe already she hasn't been around for a long time and he didn't that was exactly why i said it trump is a new phenomenon in politics he's not a classic democrat or republican he represents a new force and she represents the last campaign a decade ago don't bring us back there for god's sakes that's an error is what i said right that doesn't mean that doesn't mean I'm attacking her. I don't know who she is actually. I don't follow her. I don't watch reality shows. I don't watch hunting and fishing shows. So I don't know what she does. She came and she went. Why are we being dragged back there? That's my point, Bob. Thank you for that call. I want to give a lot of people a chance because many of you are f foaming to uh to talk about this topic by the way <laughs> on uh, what is a conservative. I love the topic because we've never done it. And <laughs> we've never done it. So what we got to do right now, Robert, is play for one minute what I said yesterday, my exact words, not what I was quoted as saying. Listen to clip number one. All right, stop the music. Oh, this is earth shaking. Oh, it's earth shaking. Sarah Palin just endorsed Donald Trump. Great. Oh, I can sleep better. Great. That's so important. Sarah Palin endorses Donald Trump. That's smart. Just what he needed. Now I can rest, I can, I can sleep much better tonight. The very day they could have taken Hillary down on the email thing, they put up this, I, I have no words for this. I'm afraid we're seeing the meltdown now of the campaign where they're turning to the very same people who uh, destroyed Romney. They're undermining him from within. He's not listening to those who know who he can, what he could do. They're listening to the professional advisors, and it happens to every campaign just at this point. Just when they're about to win, they lose. He needed Palin like a hole in the head. I am greatly honored to receive Sarah's endorsement, Mr. Trump said. 
She is a great friend. 